Hello guys, welcome back to Divine Time and Tarot. This is Tanya. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Cross watchers, you're always welcome here. Good morning, Divine Time and Tarot family. I love you guys. I thank you and I truly appreciate you. Guys, I got my yearly review from YouTube. It was pretty good. And if it weren't for all of you guys, my old and my new subscribers, I thank you and I love you guys dearly. I wouldn't even be where I am today. You guys have been showing me so much love and encouragement. So I thank you so, so, so much. We are here doing a video for Aquarius. This is for the third week of December 2020. We almost getting into the new year, guys. Ah. Aquarius, hello. How are you? Hope you're doing fabulous. This is a general reading, guys. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Guys, please, 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 please. I, I tell you guys all the time, this is a general reading. It is so not personal, okay? You can get the opportunity. If you want a personal reading, I have personal readings for 20 bucks, okay? Just until the end of December. But I do not, I repeat, I do not need all of the 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 comments that you guys be leaving like your readings are personal and Aquarius I'm not just saying it's you guys you know it's all of the signs okay so it's just not I'm not just saying this to you personally we might have a cross watcher that says some crazy shit too it's like guys this is for several people it is not yours personally so you do not have to leave anything negative towards me or the reading because it's not your own it's not your personal reading please y'all please i don't want to have to turn the comments off because i don't want to hear all that craziness it was it's ridiculous i do not make these videos for anyone under 18 this is adults only Okay, adults only. So y'all, keep it, I mean, hey, if it don't resonate with you, just keep it moving. Keep it moving. Anywho, Aquarius, I'm sorry, but I just, y'all need to understand that. It's not personal. Anyway, I have already shuffled, saved, and prayed over your cards and lay them down for time purposes, Aquarius, okay? It looks like some of y'all, y'all overall energies, y'all fighting the feeling on something here, okay? Y'all know y'all in love with somebody. Y'all know y'all want to be with this person. And y'all just fighting the damn feeling here. Your overall energy from the um, messages of love oracles, you got soulmate here and twin flame, you know, Aquarius, that you have a very strong connection, a very strong spiritual connection with somebody. And you is just fighting the feeling. You just like, nope, I don't even want to do this. I don't want to do it. So anyway, the twin flame, this is a divine counterpart connection. Your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. This is like, I don't care what you look like on the outside, I care about what's in your heart. You know what I'm saying? This person, I mean, unconditionally. I mean, like, we love our kids unconditionally. They can do this, that, and the other, but we still gonna love them, okay? Somebody definitely, I mean, really, really, really wants this connection with you, Aquarius, <laughs> But you just not having it. You just you 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 are to yourself. You possibly out there playing around with other people. You're totally ignoring this situation here. The other energies that came out, the cards that came out for you, is longing, and this is probably you longing for this person. 
someone is secretly yearning for you. This is either you or the person that you're dealing with or not dealing with. You've cut somebody off, bottom line. And then we have retreat. This is exactly what you're doing. You're like, like I said, you possibly by yourself doing some soul searching, getting connect, getting spiritually connected, you know, searching for some answers. Because what you don't understand is this person stays on your mind all the time and you don't understand it. It's because you got a very spiritual connection and this connection is divinely guided to you, Aquarius. This is something that universe is offering you, but you're denying it. Anywho. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. You had six cards that, that, that fell out. So universe wanted you to get this message big time. Aquarius. Then you have intuition. You already know the answers that you seek. Because you definitely seek an answers. You already know what it is. Then you have interference. That's why I said some of y'all are not. Wanting to deal with what you really need to deal with as far as this connection, this personal, this this very spiritual, strong connection. So, you out there probably dealing with Susie, Sally, Ronald, Hurl. I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? An external party is intruding on this relationship. So, you out there doing your thing because you don't want, you don't want to show your feelings. The tarot cards that you have is the seven of pentacles. Okay, so you're you're um you've been invested in something and you're waiting to see if something is gonna come to fruition. We have the Queen of Cups, but she's in the reverse. Okay, she's in the reverse. So your emotions are all over the place. You're not being very nurturing to anyone. Like I say, you're possibly just having one night stands. Y'all, this is not a personal reading, and don't take it personal. I don't know what you're doing, but you're out here doing something. Anywho, you're not using your intuition here. You're just doing whatever makes you happy at this time is what I'm getting. Okay? And then you got the two of wands. This is, you know, trying to, you know, you're at a crossroads. You don't know which way you want to go yet. Look at this guy right here. He's holding on to both of those wands. This is like, I want both. I want to choose both. Because you, you you got a decision to make here between two people. It looks like you want two people. You want both of them. Okay? You want both of them. You want it all. And then you got the four of wands. This is stability. This is commitment. This could be a marriage also, y'all. We could be talking about a marriage too. But this is stability. And then you have the alien, which is the hermit. So this is you spending a lot of time to yourself with your emotions being all over the place. There's probably addictions here, too, because, you know, you you're not knowing how to control your emotions. So you probably controlling it with something else. Could be alcohol. I don't know. Whatever, whatever you desire. But there's some addictions here. I can see that with your emotions all over the place. You're trying to do something to calm those emotions other than you dealing with them because you don't want to deal with it at this time. We got the Empress here. I'm feeling that you think very highly of someone. And this is that person that you possibly won't, but don't want. This is, you know, you starting something new and creative. Some of you guys have started something new with somebody, but take it slow. Take your time to get to know the person. But with this empress being here, yeah, you think very highly of someone. You think this person is very creative, abundant, stable, grounded, very passionate, aggressive, goes for the things that she wants. Yeah, you think this is this person right here that you have a very strong connection with, that's the person. That you're thinking very highly of. But you're keeping your distance from this person. Aquarius, you need to stop fighting this feeling, honey. Because this is something that's divinely guided to you. Universe 
When universe send you something, best believe it's the best. It's the cream of the crop. This empress, this is the cream of the crop. This is top shelf. This is, who? it's everything that you want. And you know it's everything that you want. But you fighting the feeling. You are fighting the feeling. But you spying. You spying on this person. Don't tell me that you're not because you are. You want to know what this person is doing. You want to know if this person is still single, if this person is with somebody. You want to know about this person because you're in love with this person. You are in love with this person, Aquarius. You got the um, Princess of Swords. You spying on this person big time because that's your love. That's who you want, but you don't know how to, you don't want to deal with it. Look at this. Four Swords. You taking a break from something because you just you can't you can't even deal with it. You don't even want to deal with it. So you probably just walk away. You think that's better, and you think that's solving the problem. Walking away from a situation, something that you're very emotional about. For some of y'all, y'all walking away because y'all wasn't getting what y'all deserve. It wasn't totally emotionally fulfilling for you, so you walked away. But you're still holding on. Why are you still holding on? We already know you're holding back your emotions. Because with the Queen of Cups here in the reverse, well, you ain't showing nothing. So, let's clarify these really quickly. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? You want to invest in something, and you know you do. But you're confused. you confused. Some of y'all, like I said, there's interference here because we got the Empress and the Queen of Cups upside down. Somebody's pissed here, okay? Somebody is pissed. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here for Aquarius? Mm. Looks like you're no longer going to wait on something that you've been investing in with the Eight of Cups. Why is the Queen of Cups in the reverse? Why is the Queen of Cups in the reverse for Aquarius? We have, see, the, the Six of Cups. Your emotions is all over the place about somebody in your past. Could be a water sign. You got a lot of emotions for this person. This definitely could be your soul mate. Twin flame. The person that you all in your head about. Mm-hmm. The Six of Cups. You walked away from this person. Look, you want victory with this person. You want success with this person. You want some attention from this person. Could be a Leo, Sag, or Aries. Doesn't have to be. Or a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Why is the Two of Wands here? You at a crossroads. You don't know what to do. Why is the Two of Wands here? You trying to decide if you want to uh, send this person a message. Uh-huh. You want some attention from this person. Big time. Big time. Why is the four of wands here? You want stability with this person. But you're fighting the feeling. You're fighting the feeling. Yeah. You hoping and wishing and praying here. And this is your card, Aquarius Star. You do, you're going through some healing here. Got a lot of angels around you. Possibly trying to guide you where you need to be. You want this stability. You hoping and wishing and praying that you can get this stability. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Some of, like I said, some of y'all is dealing with a lot of people. Y'all dealing with a lot of people. Looks like with the Queen of Wands being here, you want to take some action, but you got a lot of passion here for somebody. And some of y'all are dealing with a lot of females or men. Why is the Hermit here? Why is the Hermit here for Aquarius? Ooh. Yep. Didn't I tell you earlier I said that some of y'all are hiding your feelings, emotions all over the place. We got the nine of cups here in the reverse. Some of y'all doing a lot of drinking to cover up y'all feelings because you don't want to face your feelings. 
You don't want to face your feelings. That's why you probably by yourself. But when you want to get out and do your thing, you go out, you go out, do your thing. You just come on back. You really don't want to be bothered with nobody at this time. Why is the Empress here? Yeah, you want a new beginning, a new passionate beginning with this person. You got so much passion for this person and love. You just don't know, even know what to do. You don't even know what to do with it. And the universe is trying to guide you, but you're ignoring it. Why is the Prince of Swords here? Why is the Prince of Swords here? We have the lovers. Yep, I know. I know you love this person. You love this person. This is a, a divine guided connection that you are totally ignoring. Aquarius, if this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.